What's going on guys? Merv here again and uh, we are deep in the Congo. I've got a plethora of weaponry here. Primarily today we're going to be reviewing the Maxim Defense MDX 508. Um, I did an unboxing of this recently and uh, we're out here today to put it through its paces. Just pop a few and uh, do a couple mag changes and whatnot. Um, tell you what I think and you'll be able to see for yourself how it shoots, uh, reloads, if we have any jams. I literally have not shot this gun yet so um, you're gonna go right along with me and whatever the good or bad you're gonna see it firsthand. Um, Riggs we gotta put you in the car. He did really well with gunfire. Um, I've got a few pictures and I'll attach a little video to show you how well he's doing with that. Sit, sit, sit. And um, but for the running around and shit, I don't want him getting in the way, so I'm gonna put him in the car and uh, we'll do some drills. Victos Johnny Combats, so far, so good. These invert from. IC13, I think is what it's called. Uh, invert mags, I got a bunch of them on this plate vest as well, which I'm about to throw on and show you. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna be running around today with these level 3A plus plates on uh, just to do this right. But you can see these invert mag holders here. And uh, I mean, they got a good grip. They make it nice and easy to pull. And since I got stuff stacked right above them, like I'm not trying to reach in to pull out the uh, magazines that come right down. Um, so that's awesome. The drills I'm gonna do are gonna be like three shots per mag, except for this one, which I'm gonna do a mag dump on it. So at some point I'll, I'll do that, but I'll run through this course once or twice and try to, try to get this thing to happen for you guys um, and to look cool because why else are we doing this? happened there um, obviously I'm not training enough um, but you know I'm trying to make do trying to get it figured out um, haven't ran anything uh, drills with the vest um, this type of 
moving and shooting so you saw that was the first time it's okay um i'd like to be able to do this more and have more time uh, and dial that in more but where i live and i'm sure where most of you live it's difficult to be able to get out and train especially like this where you can move around and shoot and pull and do what you want um anyways i'm gonna shoot a little more let me tell you a few things real quick uh not a single jam not a single hiccup um completely perfect and all i did was laser bore sight it so with a cheap shitty laser from amazon um and it was hitting okay i kind of figured out it was hitting low right and just started adjusting my aim so i was hitting some of the targets even though it's not actually dialed in yet um i'm probably going to take the time to at least dial it in this afternoon but um performance wise uh it shoots without stopping and uh not a single jam that's all steel ammo too uh shooting this shit this bernal so um no brass yet i did bring a bag of brass just in case because if this started jamming up or something i was gonna swap out but the main thing was just supposed to eat the steel alive with no problems um the trigger was busty man I, I, it just kept busting and i'm gonna shoot it a few more times and actually pay attention to how that trigger feels because obviously i was just blasting off and uh not really paying attention but it was intuitive it felt right um so if there's anything to be said about that um that's right and that's again that's the velocity uh four pound flat face trigger for uh, uh for steel case ammo the optic was good clear crisp obviously like i said i need to dial it in just a tad more so it's hitting dead on oh the vest and and the uh these are great it's just a matter of muscle memory of me getting to feel the thing, to know I'm out of ammo. <laughs> a couple things hit me by surprise there because I just wasn't ready for uh, the intensity of that. Um, but anyways, you got to train. That's the whole point. So if I looked a little goofy, you know, that's how you're going to look. You're not training. It's plain and simple. Regardless, um, yo. Jack. All right, last piece of kit I wanted to talk about or kind of review was the uh, it's called a Freeman plate from AR500 plates. Uh, it's small, all right? So this is for my wife. But you can throw it on even if you're a full-size man. So it feels right. Clips in. It's actually pretty good, but you can just yank these and tighten it up. Okay. And again, you got the invert mags from IC13 something like that you'll find them it's called an invert um for the street bog uh on both sides there